there. Okay, so today's lesson. We're going to take everything that we've done in the last two lessons and we're going to put it together. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the summations. So the sigma thing from Wednesday and Thursday or Wednesday and Friday, and we're going to put it together with the series stuff from last week. Okay, um, I guess Monday. Monday, yes. Okay, so we have arithmetic series formula. That's the SN formula. Okay, so SN equals N times A1 plus AN divided by 2, right? So N was the number of terms. Okay, A1 is the first term. And AN was a, really the last term, right? Okay, so what you had to do the last time is I gave you like the first three and you had to find a certain term and then plug it back in for AN, right? Okay, so you're not gonna actually have to do that this time. So just to make sure everybody understands what we're doing. So if I give you a simple series, so three, six, nine, 12, 15, and 18, right? Okay, so you could just add those up because that's pretty easy, but we can actually use this formula, right? So we need A1, which is the first term, right? So that's three. There's one, two, three, four, five, six terms. So N would be six. And then A N, which would be A six, because N is six, right? Would be this last term right here, the sixth term, which is 18, right? So then all we're gonna do is plug it into this formula, right? So N is six times A one, which is three, plus A N, which is 18, and then divide it by two, right? Okay, so then we break out our calculator. By the way, make sure you have a scientific calculator for the next lesson because it makes it so much easier. All right, so then we're going to go 3 plus 18, right? 3 plus 18. Yes, I could have done that in my head. It's 21 divided by 2, right? So divided by 2 gives me, we're going to go this way, um, 6 times 10.5. And then we're going to do 6 times 10.5, so times 6 and your answer would be 63, right? Okay, so same thing if I added all these numbers. So three plus six plus nine plus 12 plus 15 plus 18 gives me 63, okay? So then we did the sigmas, right? All right, so if I gave you something like this, x equals one to five, of 2x, right? Okay, so what we did was we took all the numbers from one to five and we plugged it in here and we added them together, correct? So we did one, right? And then two, then three, then four, then five. Okay, so we plug one in, so two times one is two, plug two in, so two times two, remember plugging in right there for x. So that's four, two times three is six, two times four is eight, two times five is 10, right? Okay, then we added these together. So let's cheat this, that's 10. That's 10 and 10 is 30, correct? Okay, now I'm gonna show you something. Now, I didn't have you do this on the last one because they weren't all arithmetic. Guys, these only work on arithmetic ones, which means there couldn't have been a square, okay? And it couldn't have had you know, it repeat a different number of times. Okay, so there's, you can't do this for everything. It's got to be arithmetic, all right? Now, how are you going to know it's arithmetic? Well, for the purposes of what we're learning, these are all going to be arithmetic, okay? So what I can do, this is technically arithmetic because how did it change? It went from two to four, so that's plus two, plus two, plus two, plus two, right? Guys, we can just use this formula, right? So N times A1 plus AN divided by two, right? Okay, so A1 is the first number. You're gonna get the first number by plugging in the bottom number. So to get A1, you're gonna plug in the bottom number. Okay, to get AN, AN is the last number, right? How do we get this last number? We plugged in the top number, right? So you're gonna plug in top number. Okay, now I know some of you are asking, where are you plugging them in? Guys, plug it into here. So it's like if we were to do this problem, okay, and we're going to do it the shortcut way. Okay, so to get A1, you plugged in the bottom number into here. Okay, to get AN, you plug the top number in here. 
Now, here comes the tricky part. And I'm going to show you why you have to do it this way on the next problem. Okay, to get in, you're going to do the top number minus the bottom number. Okay, so the top number, so 5, minus 1, and then you're going to add back 1. Okay, so the reason why you got to do that is because you got to count from 1 to 5, right? So if I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that's 5 numbers, correct? So you can't just subtract them. And now it is not always this top number, guys. So you have to be careful. I need you to watch this. This is going to be the part that's going to screw a lot of you guys up. So make sure you do the top number minus the bottom number, and then I add 1. Okay, so I'm going to show you that it actually works. So if I want to get A1, I plug in the bottom number, right? So that's 2 times 1, which gives me 2. To get AN, you're going to plug in the top number. So 2 times 5 which is 10, and then n is the top number minus the bottom number, so that gives me 4, and then we're going to add 1 back, right? Sorry, I didn't put the light on, so I need to make sure that focused. Okay, so this is going to be 5. So we're going to use these numbers. Okay, so a1 is 2, a n is 10, and n is 5. So watch, if we, we need to get 30, right? So watch what happens when I plug it in. So n is 5 times a1 is 2 plus a n is 10 divided by 2. Okay, so it gives me 5 times 12 over 2, which is 5 times 6, which is 30, and we get the same answer. Okay, so we're going to do them this way. The reason why we're going to do them this way is because these numbers are going to be way too big for you to plug them in one at a time. If you try to plug them in one at a time, it's going to take you all day. All right, so... Let me show you why you got to do the top number minus the bottom number. So I'm going to do another super easy one. All right, so we're going to go, we'll go from 5 again. This time we're going to start at 2, though. And then we'll do 3x plus 1. Okay, so you do the top, the bottom number, you get a1, right? So a1, we're going to plug in 2. So we're going to do 3 times 2 plus 1. That's 6 plus 1, which is going to give me 7, right? And then a n, you plug in the top number, right? So 3 times 5 plus 1 gives me 15 plus 1, which is 16. Now, I need to get from 2 to 5. Okay, so how many numbers is it from 2 to 5? You're going to tell me it's 3, but it's not, right? Okay, so I can do it on my fingers, but the picture is kind of small. So what numbers do you need? You need to plug in 2, you need to plug in 3, you need to plug in 4, you need to plug in 5. Well, how many numbers are there? There's 4, right? Okay, so this is why you got to add back 1 when you subtract. So to get n, you do the top number, which is 5, minus the bottom number, which is 2. That gives me 3, right? That's what you thought it was. But you got to add 1 back in. The reason why, you got to take an account for this number. Okay, so that's going to be 4. All right, so then we just plug it in. So we have n times a1, which is 7, plus a n, which is 6, divided by 2. All right, so that gives me... 4 times, that's 23 over 2, which gives me 4 times, that's 11 and a half times 4. Then you find your calculator. 11.5 times 4. Your answer is 46, okay? I get that same answer if I plugged in 2, 3, 4, and 5. All right, so let's do another one with some of the bigger numbers. So we're going to go from x equals 0 to 39, and we're going to do 100 minus x, all right? So I want you to try it on your own. So pause the video and see if you guys can do it. Remember, you're going to find a1, you're going to find a n, and you're going to find n. So give it a shot, see if you guys can find it, pause the video, and then come back. All right, so A1, we're going to plug in 0 in here, right? So 100 minus 0 is still 100. AN, you're going to plug in 39. So 100 minus 39, so 100 minus 40 is 60 plus 1 is 61. Let's make sure I did that right. 100 minus 39 is 61. And then N, top number minus the bottom number. So 39 minus 0 is 39, and then add 1, which gives me 40. Again, guys, you've got to add the 1 back. you got to subtract them and then add the 1 back. All right, so now we're going to pull them back in. So we're using the an times a1 plus an over 2. 
right? So N is 40 times A1, which is 100, plus A1, AN, which is 61, and divided by 2. So you got 40 times 161 over 2, right? So 161 divided by 2, so 40 times 80.5, right? And then just times it by 40. Your answer is going to be 3,220. All right, so it's pretty easy. It's pretty basic. Um, let's just jump over to Delta Math just to make sure so you guys can see that it's exactly the same thing, right? Okay, now here's the deal right here. Okay, sum of arithmetic, arithmetic series. Guys, they're all arithmetic, so you're going to use this formula. Okay, so don't worry about it. All right, so let's try this one just so I can show you that it works. So I need sigma, n is 2 to 77 of 7n plus 8, right? Let's bring this back. All right, so I need a1, plug in the bottom number, right? So 7 times 2 plus 8, so that's 14 plus 8, so that's 22. Then we need AN, you're going to plug in the bottom, the top number, right? So 7 times 77 plus 8. So this is why you'd want to use this formula, guys, because you don't really want to be plugging in all the numbers from 2 to 77 into this. Okay, that's going to take you all day, and then you're going to complain that this was too hard. All right, so that's what's going to happen. So those of you watching this video, good job, because other kids aren't going to watch the video, and they're just going to start plugging in from 2 to 77, and they complain that this took too long, when it really doesn't take long at all. All right, so 7 times 77 is 539. Then we're going to add 8. Gives me 547. All right, then to get N, top number minus the bottom number. So 77 minus 2 gives me 75. And then add 1 back, it's 76. If you don't believe me that works, just Count from 2 to 77 on your fingers. Make sure you start 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay? And then come back in like three minutes when you're done. All right, so now we're going to plug it in. So again, we're going to use this formula right here, the summation formula. So N is 76 times A1, which is 22 right there. We got that from plugging the bottom number in, right? Plus AN, which is 547. That's the top number into it. And then divide it by 2. Remember, because it's always divided by 2, all right? What you're really doing is finding an average for those of you who care. So 22 plus 547, okay? So 76 times 569 divided by 2. So 569 divided by 2. So that's 76 times 284.5. And again, when you guys are doing this, you don't have to write this all out. I'm writing it all out this much because so you guys can see what's going on. You can check your math. Okay, then we're going to times this by 76, so 21,622, and that should be our answer. Okay, so let's go back. So 21, remember, do not put commas, 622. Submit your answer. Is it right? Look, it's right. Yay. Okay, so they're going to show it all like this, guys. Okay, and then they're going to break it down into how you would actually do it if you're trying to find the answer. Okay, just so you guys can see, okay, so that, whoops, nope, go back. Okay, so just got, they're all the same, guys, okay? So there's nothing fishy going on on these problems. Okay, just remember, so no fractions, no nothing, all right? The fractions come next one with the geometric ones, haha. -ha. Okay, make sure you get, again, make sure you guys have a scientific calculator for the geometrics. It's going to make your life easier. Okay, so notice they're all the same, right? Okay, so you got five of these to do, guys. It's going to be pretty freaking easy. Enjoy it, and I'll see you on Wednesday.